In dynamical systems, it's really time that is the crucial variable. If we have different dynamical systems with different types of time, it's really going to impact how those systems evolve. One of the things we're going to learn is that there are really two types of time in dynamical systems. The first being continuous time, where time is a real variable. This is contrasted with discrete dynamical systems, where time is a discrete variable, or if you like, an integer variable. Now, what I mean by this is that in continuous time, time denoted t is going to be a real variable, a real number, sometimes a positive real number, sometimes negative as well if we have an invertible system where we can run time backwards. It's different when you're in discrete time. We're going to use a different symbol. We're going to use n for time instead of t. And this discrete time is going to be a natural number, or if the system is invertible, an integer, allowing for negative values as well. The solutions to these two different types of dynamical systems really differ. In continuous time, you're going to have what looks like a continuous function of a continuous variable t. Whereas in a discrete time dynamical system, solutions are going to be discrete functions, that is, sequences that depend on this discrete time n. Now, these two different types of time are fundamentally different and fit different types of models. So, for example, if you're used to thinking about solutions to a differential equation, something like a radioactive isotope or continuously compounded interest, anything like that, that is a continuous time dynamical system, and your solution looks just like continuous functions. No big deal. On the other hand, discrete time dynamical systems are much better suited to data that comes at regular intervals like unemployment figures coming out every month, or number of patients infected with a virus coming out every day. That type of data leads naturally to discrete time systems. Now, one of the things we're going to emphasize in this video text is the connection between continuous and discrete time systems. There's a subtle duality between the two. It's really beautiful the way that these two types of systems mirror one another. There are some really cool similarities, but some very subtle differences as well. Now, whatever type of dynamical system you have, whether it's evolving continuously or discreetly, you have to pay attention. You have to be careful and note which type of system that you have. Throughout this text, I'm going to be using a little c or a little d to denote what type of system we're working with at any given time. So much of what we're going to learn is going to hinge on this relationship between continuous and discrete time systems.